welcome to the Rich Club channel. Before viewing, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell. Let's go. In this video you will learn the whole truth about XRP, everyone should know this news. Before the video starts, write in the comments, how much the XRP token will cost in a month. To the one who guesses, we will transfer 120 tokens. I remind you that at the moment one token costs $1.03. You also need to like and subscribe. FLR tokens will be airdropped to a vast majority of XRP holders in late quarter 2, 2021. US-based certified public accountant, James Yachim, took Twitter to elaborate on how taxation norms could potentially affect FLR's airdrop to XRP holders. Yachim asserted that FLR holders would be put at an unfair tax disadvantage. He pointed out that FLR airdrop was taxable, and cited the IRS Revenue Ruling 1924. Flare Network, however, went on to clarify that Yachim's claims were contrary to the conclusions they sought from other US space tax lawyers. They further requested holders to consult a professional, if they were concerned. Bank of America's head of global banking has heaped praise on cryptocurrency project Ripple and its ability to integrate with traditional banking services. Speaking on a podcast, Bank of America's Julie Harris discussed emerging payment options for businesses and how it can improve efficacy. It's not about our platform and our capabilities, it's about you as a client and the infrastructure you have, and the ability for us to integrate, whether that's with platforms and capabilities that we built, or partnerships that we have with the likes of Ripple or Swift. She said. These are fintechs that we're partnering with. They've come through all of our rigor of legal and compliance, and we're able to leverage our banking as a platform to deliver that to you. Speculation surrounding Ripple's ambiguous partnership with the Bank of America has been mounting over the past four years, with Ripple revealing in October that they had been working with the bank since 2016. Thus far no details of the partnership have been announced by either Ripple or the Bank of America, but we can assume it's based around cross-border payments, in light of Harris' comments on Ripple alongside Swift. The price of Ripple's XRP token has remained stable in spite of the comments and subsequent rumors, with it now trading along the 20 cents level of resistance flip support. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system. It can trace its roots to 2004, when a web developer called Ryan Fugger had the idea to create a monetary system that was decentralized and could effectively allow individuals to create their own money. It is one of the largest cryptocurrencies and is one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization potentially moving the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit against Ripple apps in a new direction. XRP holders have filed a motion to intervene in the litigation as a third-party defendant. According to a new legal filing submitted by Rhode Island-based attorney John Deaton, on behalf of XRP holders on April 19, XRP users, investors, holders and developers, as well as content providers and small businesses that utilize the digital asset XRP and the XRP ledger, have a significant interest in the property at issue in this enforcement action. More than 12,600 XRP holders have contacted Deaton seeking to join the intervention, according to the document. XRP holders are seeking to participate in the lawsuit as a third-party defendant to protect their interests and are not asserting any claims or counterclaims against the SEC. During the Bitcoin crash on Sunday, XRP dropped as low as $1.12, where it found support at the 20 days ma. From there, it rebounded to close the week at $1.40. Over the past couple of days, XRP continued to dip again as it dropped beneath the support at $1.29 today, to reach as low as $1.15. The buyers have since regrouped to bring XRP to the current price, but the bearish momentum is still in place for the short term. The RSI dipped beneath the midline on Sunday, indicating that the bears are controlling the market momentum. Since then, it has continued to fall as the bearish momentum starts to increase. How much will XRP cost at the end of 2021? Write your opinion in the comments, and do not forget about the likes.